Uh, when we are uh, that color, uh, a color is a little bit hitting a lot in the mainstream color. You, you don't know. You have, you may have initial fear and concern about um, the limitation, real or otherwise, the hearing loss may, may impose on you. So if you are exposed to a role model, that psychological barrier is gone. In fact, all of my mentees have told me that when they first met me, their fear would completely disappear. Um, that is probably the biggest thing that we can do with our kids. Because once that fear is gone, they can do anything they want to do. They will be, they, not, but once that fear is gone, they're really on a level, same level, play level with their hairy, with their hairy peers. That we will provide them role models. And then we will really give them different, different ideas how they can succeed in the mainstream. How can they get a job in an in industry? Or how can they get into graduate school? Or how can they get into medical school? And we could give them the support and encouragement. And if they need to do something, we are not able to help them, then we use our own network to provide them the contact they need. And so we provide a support environment. The presidential award right now giving me a way to expand what I've done and transplant it to other universities in the country. And I came across that an A.D. Bell publication, or a newsletter, if you will, saying that an Amina Rice, who was an undergraduate at Princeton in Mechanical Engineering, and, uh, uh, and she had got an A.D. Bell Scholarship Award to drive the world. So I contacted her, I found her email address. Those days were quite difficult to find email address, but I had a way to do that. And um, I told her, why don't you think about doing here research? I said, why don't you come and spend a summer here with the professor here and do and spend three months? That, that, that was my first, probably my first mentee. mentee. So even though she did work directly with me to spend three months and then the next lab next door to mine, I thought the postdoc, I wanted me to have a coffee or tea or what have you. And uh, that took her from there. A year later, we had another one who came to biomedical engineering, Stephen Tang. And I also thought another, so another, another one in North Side with Dominic, but he was hard of hearing. And then in 2007, when Dominic, Stephen Tang, and Eric Hockley was graduated, there was another one who came in the BME department. He had cochlear plan. And I spotted him before he spotted me, and so uh, I said, you better come and work for me. And he worked with Dr. Lim in this department as well. And uh, uh, so for those four kids, you know, the, perhaps the first golden age, if you will, they were all through medical school, they were all doing residency. Dominic doing residency in anesthesiology, Stephen Tang, residency in radiology, Joseph Hang, the resident, first year resident here. And uh, fourth one, Eric Cochran, who is a resident in the pathology. We now have a pathway for a young deaf college student to come, hopefully, to spend a summer with the people and be exposed to role models. And then, then they can use that experience to apply to graduate school or medical school. Uh, we probably will see more and more. Children with hearing loss have cochlear implants and uh, digital hearing aids. And as long as the support is there, I mean, the family support, the education support is there, we're going to see a dramatic increase in the number of people, children with hearing loss, going to mainstream, going to college, and they will do much better than I've done so far. They will become professors. They will have endowed chairs. They might even be the next Einstein. They might even be the next Stephen Hawking. But uh, that will happen in the next 10, 20 years. And when you look at the letter, a thank you letter, uh, 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 from the people who got scholarship award, you see incredible enthusiasm. And, and the more oh, they are grateful for those awards. Um, at the bottom line, the common thing to all of them is that 
they, they will work hard and they want to find a way to pay back to society because of what A.D. Barrett and the whole, one of many people have provided with their hearing loss.